everyone, and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018 with me, Kevin Sawyer. Hope you guys and girls are all well enjoying your day. Um, right, so what I've got for you today is the. Let me just check the notes actually. Uh, bear a sec. Uh, do, 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 do. It's a 1929 uh, Lincoln Model L. That's what we're going to be repairing today, is a 1929 Lincoln model. Oh, it's um, made by the modding, I think they're a team, but I'm not entirely sure if it's just one model or a group of models. It's for Lissix. Um, so, some of you guys may have already seen this, but some of you guys may not have, so we'll crack on. Um, over here, something else a bit special as well. Um, some of you guys may have recognised it already. It's the Ecto-1. You can have it just a standard colour don't have to have it in the Ghostbusters livery and when you download the um, mod you won't be able to access the, de uh, um, uh, the livery you have to do something sort of like to the files to get it to um, go but that aside I'm going to start cracking on I don't think this thing's got, well, it's got a engine in it since the updates have changed a few things So that's two. Yeah, see now, engine needs to be complete before. Com which makes sense. Because you couldn't really do a compression test on a on an engine without a cylinder head. Because there's going to be nothing for the piston to compress, compress against. I can't perform that. Let's try the fuel side of it. I know this thing's pretty rotten, but just to show you how badly rotten. Since some of the parts are not even there. <laughs> Alright, okay, let's check the tyre treads. Pretty poor. Alright. And let's check. Electrics, what little we've got to have of them, there's going to be battery, right? So let's take the battery out first. Might as well take the bright master cylinder out as well. I'll uh, start stripping some of the parts of it as well. They're oh, pretty cool, I hope they're repairable. Oops, didn't mean to do that, okay. That's handy, just take the whole pan, side panel off. I wonder if you can just take this whole top bit off. Let's try the door first. Okay, you can. Seems legit. Right, um. It's pretty much just the rolling chassis now. Can we take seats out from here? No, we have to go into interior mode. Those seats look a bit too modern for this, but I might put the other type in. Right. Okay, so it's just a chassis now, so it's a rolling chassis. In fact, you could probably take most of this thing to bits from here. Let's put it up in the rack air anyway. And start stripping this thing down. Again, this is wooden. This this won't be like this. We all know there'd be chrome spoke knockoffs. In real life, but again, modder is limited in what the game's capacity or capability is. So. those parts I'm going to need to be repairable. I wonder if we weld this. Top 
Wait, this side. Yeah, if you guys haven't already seen the um, giveaway, um, please feel free to go and look at that. Check that out. It's for twenty pounds. Steam vouchers. If you've missed that already. Yeah. Well, if you've missed it, then you should see it um, bef no, before this one. The video before this one. Also, stick a link in the top right hand corner for you guys. They have missed that. But again, like I've been saying, it's just a thank you for your support, you know, and everything else. Um, like I've been saying about YouTube's changing their policies, is it's uh, kind of um, annoyed me a lot. I've calmed down a bit now, but I'm still still quite annoyed with YouTube for doing that. You can see why they've done it, don't get me wrong, but it's just all it's doing is it's just gonna those people are trying to somehow scratch some sort of um, existence out of this. Still yet to try Twitch. Not everyone's like going to try Twitch, why Twitch? Some people are going, don't try on Twitch, it's not good. Da -da 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 -da. But, Again, I guess it's different people have different experiences. Same with YouTube. Pe different people have good experiences with YouTube. Yeah, with YouTube. Some people have bad experiences with YouTube. You know, I've had a few little trolls in the time and everything else. I think everyone's had a troll at least once in their life um, on YouTube. But, you know, overall. Of, you know, I do enjoy the community I do have. But basically, I've got like, like I said, I've got so many days left to get over a thousand subscribers. Once, if I don't get those thousand subscribers. I'm done for. They're going to remove all my monetize my monetization tools, and I'll probably end up pushing down the rankings. They say it doesn't affect it, but I know it does. It's a load of baloney when they say that because it wouldn't benefit it wouldn't benefit YouTube to have a non-monetized video appearing before a monetized video just wouldn't benefit them in any way at all so they're gonna prioritize the uh, the uh, the monetized videos over the non monetized videos and I know that we all know that Strip that out. Um, I'm interested to see what happens when this. When I can I just take this frame away? No, I don't think, I think the frame is just there. It's just a frame. You can't touch it. It's the bare chassis of the car, I guess. Now, can I take this gearbox out? To, oh, there's no start on it, so that's a bonus. I will need to put one in it though. It's been a while since I've worked on one of these engines as well, so it makes a bit of a change. Come on. No, come on, I want that one. That's what I want. That's it. Can I take this off without the troubles? Yeah, cool. So it's just basically the engine blocks left in there now. So all I need to do is get the engine crane. Move it over to that one over there. Stick it 
stick it on that. Rotate it. Oh, do that then. Like that. And then let's leave that there for now. Let's see if we can weld this. I wouldn't, let's have a look, see. Oops. Wrong one. That one. Yeah, it says interior condition, not great. Well, 100%. The rest of it's not great. So I'm going to get the welder. And move it to... Because if, even if you did just have a roll a chassis like this, the kind of, um, I'm trying to remember how they actually call these box section chassis, I think. Um, remember serves me right. It would, uh, you'd still need to weld it back up, strengthen it, because otherwise you didn't, you're just putting everything, there we go, everything, all new bits, onto an existing tired, actually that looks like that comes off as well, cool, and that's onto a tired frame, so yeah, as soon as you put any weight on that frame, I need to get round, I can't get round, because that weld is annoying, router and to sender, Right, yeah, so see, so put any weight on that frame, it'd just give out, snap, and it'd be game over. All your hard work would have been for nothing. But anyhow, let's go over to the repair bench and see what we can repair first. See what makes the repairs process. And see what gets broken. Some of it may, some of it's making it. Right, cool. And let's start putting the old chassis back together. Um, let's start off with this bit over here. Putting the cape machines in here. As you guys can see, I'm now at level 50 as well. I've grinded way up to top level. I don't know what the, the little bit of luck thing does. It doesn't seem to do anything. It just gives you luck. I don't know if that means it's gonna you're gonna have less breakages, I don't know. We need to get steering assembly and suspension so it's not knowing it's a double wishbone, isn't it? Yeah. So we need two of them, two of them, two of them, and two of them, two of them, and a steering rack as well. There. Two of them, two of them, and I'll leave it at that for now. In fact, I need to start taking some wheels off, don't I? Separate parts, pick you, yes. What I'll try and do is I'll try and remember to leave a link for this Lincoln this time around. Um, most of you guys probably can find it on the, the Steam Workshop anyway if you want to. Um, I will try and remember to leave a link for it in the description down below. Just for you guys that can't find it or can't, don't know which particular one I'm on about. Uh, if you really want to play on this server or have down, what you, do, you literally, once you subscribe to it, you, it, it should eventually appear in. Well, you'll see it in your, um, in your showroom. Uh, not showroom. Sorry, the, well, the um, main car um, menu at the beginning, the uh, main menu. Um, but you'll have to obviously find it either in a scrapyard or I don't know if you can buy it in the auctions or not. I'm not seeing it appear in the auctions, but it doesn't mean it do doesn't. It's not there. Now, did these leaf springs make? One did. 
How about the plates? Yeah, the plates made it. How about these? Yeah, two, four, at least three of them made it. I'm going to have to buy one. Did they make it? One did. That made it. Wheel cylinder in. Some people still call them slave cylinders. Because technically they are a slave to the master cylinder. Um, but they kind of push back when, the, when you release the, the, um, the pistons get pushed back in by the uh, spray springs of the uh, shoes and then obviously it pushes the fluid back into the main reservoir so, uh, what am I looking for I see I forget, Lord, oh brake drums brake drums uh, so brakes I'm gonna, I don't know if this thing's got it should have drums on the front as well but I'm not entirely sure if this is drums or discs I wasn't looking as we took, I think it's discs and find out when we start putting it together. Which would be not... Well, it wouldn't be realistic. Because um, it would be drums all round on this, being this older car. Unless again, it being converted at some point in its life. I need two of them as well. We shop absorber bees. Because these things, will, you'd be get, you'd be probably lucky to get what 50 miles an hour out of the, one of these. 60 if you're really pushing it. That would be really pushing it. Oh, I've got something this old anyway. Uh, part mount. So I'm gonna need to do a new spring on. I yep. Because that didn't make the repair process. Leaf spring, wherefore out there, leaf spring. Um, do 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 do. Stick that in. No, I don't want to do that. Stick a rotten new bolt in. What I want to do is come out of here and buy a new bolt. Like so. And click up on there. Part mount there. I've still not got my um, Audio Technica mic yet. I'm still waiting for it. I'm hoping it'll be it'll turn up at some point. That'd be my last time I'm gonna try and even up remotely upgrade the uh, recording side of well, the sound recording side of everything. That doesn't work. I'm just gonna probably eBay the whole lot. I could send it back, but you know, it's just easier not to. I'll just take the loss on it and send it on eBay or something. I need a uh, housing type D. Right, let's stick 
this all back in. Did that make it? No, it didn't. So I need to get on them as well. That made it. Let's break shoes. Technically, yeah, they wouldn't make it anyway because, well, unless they're, it's just a bit of corrosion on the shoes itself. Um, on the surfaces, you wouldn't be able to use them again. They'd be so rotten. You might as well just take, throw them away. And uh, buy a new pack. So what were we looking for again? Was it break shoes? Yeah, break shoes and... Solid drive axle as well, wasn't it? And if I go to brakes... I've got one of them, it's brake shoes, we need some of them. Stick that on. Stick that in. Stick that on. I haven't got the wheels ready yet, so... Actually, if we can we repair some of them wheels now? Yeah, we can. I think there's still one I haven't um, separated yet. No. Okay. One of them's obviously too badly damaged to repair. So. Let's stick the front steering rack in. While we're at it. Now the deep, or well, at least one of these made it anyway. How about the again? You shouldn't mount that bit on first. I know that you guys know that. You should, you'd really mount these bits in first. Put the bottom one in, then put the top one in, then the horse, and then just basically put the hub in at last. I need to go and put that on the spring compressor. Join parts, please. While that's doing that, I want to try and get some tyres for this. Nope. So, rims first of all. It's rims. Yeah, one of them didn't. didn't. So it's rim retro 13. And it's 20 inch. Classic rim classic rim, rim modern no, rim up to thirteen. Unlucky for some. Right, twenty inch zero EQ, just need one. Now let's find out the size of the tires are all do 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 yeah, so it looks like some of those body panels didn't make it, so it looks like we're going to be buying all new panels. This could be problematic. Um, right, uh, so the vintage tyre will be and uh, 135 by 80? Three eight m um, twenty inch. Okay, well, three five by eighty. That seems a bit unusual. So twenty inch. Only four of them. Oh, six four get. Okay. So one. Okay, it won't go down. So I just increase this to eighty. Will it go as far as... How's that gonna... Hmm? Uh. Uh. I already see a problem here. 
Now they didn't mention that you can't buy the tires. Vintage tire will be it's one three five by eighty. That won't even go down that far. That goes that far. See, it won't let me go down that far. Let me go. <sighs> That's a bit of a pain because there's nothing I can do about that. It's always going to have rotten tyres, so I might have to just sell this, dip it with rotten tyres. We're never going to know what the full potential value is, which is a shame. But hey ho. Didn't say anything in the notes, mind you. I didn't read all the notes through again. I must admit about not being able to replace the tyres. Um, I can't put that in yet, can I? Because we need a new one of them. I can put one of them in. Front sway bar as well. Be. This all this front end made it, it's amazing. So it is discs on the front, okay. Seems legit. Right, okay. Um Okay. No, I don't want to put a broken cylinder in a broken piston back into a into a caliper. So I'll put that on as well. Come on, give me let me have that bearing. Thank you. And put that in. That should be ready for a wheel. Which we can't get a new tire for. That seems ridiculous. I'll check that again. Um so one three five by eighty. So these you can't get these tires unless let this check something. Let me just check something. Oh, gone the wrong. Sorry guys. Ah dear. If I go dunk and then go dunk, I'm wondering if the spare tires in here. I want a thought so. Hmm. That is a shame. They don't spell sell the spare tires in here either. So there's two options. I can either go for whatever I can put on that set of tires. 
Which I think is only going to be the tyres. There's one three five by eighty. Still can't f I find that hard to believe. Sorry guys, I'm harping on about these tyres. You won't even allow me to go. Let me do it there. Hmm. So yeah, I'm gonna have to just put tired tires back onto the car. Seems legit, hey. Sorry guys, but... That's the way of it. Seems ridiculous, if you ask me. No, I don't want to separate them, we're going to want to put that in, that in. So, if you ever got a job with this asking for tires to replace, there's no way you could physically do the job, you'd have to turn it away. There's no way you can get the tires for it. And we'll stick the back wheels on, uh, which is the less tread. That one. Really, I don't like that. I like the fact that these tyres. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm faffing around here. I'd rather have more grip on the front than on the back. Though technically, if you're going too quick around a corner, back end's going to likely kick out. But if you want more grip on your steering, then on the back end. Right, uh, so again, what's, that's the least amount on that one. Again, that's the least amount on that one. Front steering up all type C too far. Well 
from those. Lower suspension. Uh, is it lower or bottom? Bottom. So up and bottom. There's a. Oh, hang on. Let's type B. Bottom suspension arm. And where's the upper one? Upper what suspension arm? I suspect it's two type B in links. And it's a front sway bar type B, isn't it? Put all this in. Don't do it at home, kids. You'll break your track rod end doing that. Right, dunk, 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 and. Dunk. Dunk, dunk. Oh, I'm running out of cape bushings. Is it small bushings? Those red ones. I'm always going. I'll go like for them, like things like sweets, like more Kate Bushings that we need. Then um, it's a ridiculous amount of Kate Bushings I go through a day. I've got a Kate Bush addiction. <laughs> right, let's throw that in. Oh, I've not. Got the other one on me. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Let's try and get something built today. Disc on. Again, you wouldn't just slide that on, there would be a little securing screw or bolt to lock it in place. I know I could put the wheel on, but I won't, not until the suspension is built. And then we go to the spring compression and get that. Take that from the compressor. Throw that in. And throw last of the tired tyres with wheels back on. Right, okay, so just for the rolling chassis, nothing else, in a sense. Um, see how much this thing's now worth. Uh, just over nine grand. Okay. Right, okay. I'll leave it at that guys because it's truly dragged on for quite a fair amount of time but um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll strip this engine down off screen but then rebuild it back on screen I know there's not much left in it anyway but I'll still strip it down and rebuild it I'll get all the parts ready and everything and then we'll be good to go but I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the episode um, please feel free to like if you did um, if you did enjoy this episode again guys and girls please feel free to dislike but please let me know in the comments down below to why you didn't like it so I can improve in the future if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this again please feel free to share it helps me out and I don't mind you sharing and if you're new to my channel and want to see future episodes of this or anything else I'm working on please don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next one TTFN <laughs>